Scrivener lets you import images into your project as research. But if you plan to add images into the manuscript itself, it is possible to insert them directly into the text. Here's an example image I'd like to include in my latest manuscript. The image is currently in Finder, and I can drag it into the Scrivener binder, but as you can see, it can't be added to the draft folder as a standalone image, because the draft folder is for text documents only. I can drag the image into the research folder, but then it can only be referred to as research and won't appear in the finished manuscript. It hasn't been inserted into the text anywhere. Instead, we can open this text document in the draft where I want to place the image, find the spot where it needs to go, maybe hit return a couple of times to make some room, and just drag the image directly into the text itself. It's also possible to do this by clicking in a document and using insert image from file. Once the image is in the text, I can double click on it to resize it, either by dragging the sliders or entering a numerical value. Note that images can only appear between paragraphs or chunks of text in Scrivener. Since Scrivener is dedicated to the writing process rather than being a layout application, it isn't possible to wrap text around an image or overlay it on top of an image in Scrivener. If you want images to interact with text that way, you will need to export your manuscript from Scrivener to a dedicated layout program once you've finished writing. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.